he said that you guys are renting the RV for, for 90 days or something. We are. Oh, <laughs> that's very exciting. It is exciting. <laughs> okay. Have you rented an RV before? Um, no. No. So you need to know everything. We about need to all know everything. Features. Yes. Okay, that's all right. This one here is your generator. Just some storage. This is your propane tank. Three quarters full here. Where is the maximum it can go because the gas needs like room to expand. Mm. Check the oil every 1,000 miles. Where the fuel goes, it takes 89. We've got a TV cable right here. City water connection. This is to flush out the tanks. So black is your toilet water. Gray is the water from the sink or the shower. Get a screwdriver. You won't have new screws. Camping chairs. Camping table. Your TV cable. Water hose. Electricity cable. On. This is your battery disconnect. This will shut down the whole system and you need to turn it off when you're pumping gas. If you have like high winds, either stop traveling. You have the control panel and this is the water pump. This is the water heater generator. With the first use, you put in one tablet. Do you know how to drive the, the car? Well, nope. <laughs> yeah, okay. So you can just put the keys in the ignition. And then, you can just turn it on. Change gears with the stick, so you can't get... Yeah, there's right. a oh, yeah, parking there. brake there, and then you have to release it by hand. Alright, that's pretty much everything you need to know. So, yeah, it is an adventure. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> It all started with Naomi's dream about getting into the RV and driving across America. And when she told me that, I felt like I immediately knew that that was the best idea ever. And then it came time to actually plan it and it felt impossible. <laughs> and so we put out a call and we got some really awesome folks to come help us out. Two of them were Columbia students. And then another is a dear friend of mine who's also an artist and a filmmaker. And we took sort of a buckshot approach, like let's just contact everybody that we possibly can. And I was expecting it to be pretty difficult to get theaters to say yes to us because they have no idea who we are. But it was so wonderful to take a really solid step outside of the way things are supposed to work. Because once you take yourself outside of the process that everyone else is trying to scramble through, you suddenly have A, so much perspective and B, so much opportunity. And so it felt like because we were doing something different, we just kept getting yes and yes and because you know, I would call a theater and they would say, oh yeah, that actually sounds pretty cool. And how about, you know, we have a costume ball here in the theater and we can convert the space and we'll make it a benefit for the cultural center. And you know, we'll get the radio to come and roll out the red carpet for your RV. And it just, you know, when, some, when they get excited about it because it's different and it's new, I think, things just start to happen and expand and that was so cool. 
I'm really proud to have worked on this movie. This movie was made by kick-ass women, and this tour is run by kick-ass women. And these are women you want to be on the team of, you want to support, you want to come out for, you want to see everything they do. I just love these people. This evening is the culmination of five years. I think tonight is going to be a triumph. I mean, this place is an amazing place. The wife, this screening room, we're packed, we're, you know, we're sold out. I just, I can't wait to see how everyone responds because I know that we have an amazing film and I couldn't be more thrilled to be part of this project and I'm, I can't wait for it to start. <laughs>we have comedians and music performances and I really built this space so that artists could have a really nice home where they can showcase their work and make money there's a drunk on the corner where the big boys play where the whiskey's running like the river but they all never come for the booze and bass on the wine on go see it it's awesome it's about outsiders and insiders and everyone is gonna feel good
Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited to be here. I've known you for so long. I've never actually been inside your house. It's, well, it's yeah, so, you know, and I've so known great. you for so long, which is to say that a lot of the questions I would ask you are things I already know, the things you already know. Right. So I'm going to take a page out of the Fox News rule book. As you know, I was interviewed by Fox News uh, when I wrote the book, What is Goth? I think you were too. At some I was, point. I was. Uh, they asked really muggly questions like, do you worship Satan and things like that? <laughs> so and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to ask you muggly questions. Yeah, because... I can't worship Satan. It would be narcissistic. Oh, well, that's a whole other story <laughs> for a whole other day. Uh, but I'm going to ask you questions for the general public that are interested in uh, the vampire lifestyle. All right. Are perfect. game? Yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. Question number one, it's on everybody's minds. Are you a real vampire? Uh, real as in, like, I exist. You can touch me. Definitely not a figment of my imagination. Not a figment of your imagination. But you know, people You know, people come up to me in bars all the time and they're like, are you like a real vampire? I've been there when that's <laughs> happened. And yes, I am a real vampire. I, 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 I have, well, I've always been very tangible, but other than that, yes, uh, I am someone who requires an alternative source of human energy in which to sustain their health and well-being, and that is the most traditional definition of vampirism when it comes to being a real vampire. So it might be blood, it might be energy, it might be something else? Yes, uh, the energy from blood, the energy from another person, ambient energy from a crowd, or the sexual energy produced from arousal, all good means of feeding for a vampire, and I, I'm very much a vampire. So in one way, shape, or form, you must feed off of humans. That's correct. And that is the definition for you? That is it. That is the, that's, that's the one. And I guess by that definition, we've got a real vampire in the lair. Right here. <laughs>